So in this video, we're going to be learning how to send a message to our bot. So if we go to the bot's Facebook page, and you can see I have the chat box open. And what we're going to do is I'm going to send it a message. I'm going to say, hello world. And at the moment, the bot has been programmed to send whatever I type back to me. So if I hit enter, you can see the bot replied with hello world. So we're going to be learning how to do that in this video. So I have a blank PHP file, and this is where we're going to put our code for our bot. So I'm going to open up a PHP block. And the first thing we're going to learn how to do is to print to the screen. So if I just save this and I run the server, and the only thing this server will print out is the error log and the pages that are visited. So if I type in echo hello world, it's not going to print out to the terminal. So for us to be able to see the output on the terminal, we have to send our output to the error log. So to do that, we just have to write to PHP's standard error stream. So what I'm going to do is create a function and it's going to be called print line. And it's going to take a string variable to print. And what we're going to do in this function is we're going to create another variable called f and it's going to equal f open, which is another function that opens a stream. So we're going to type in f open and what we want to open is we want to open PHP standard error, which is how we can output to the error log. And we want to open it for writing because we want to write to it. And then to output to that log, all we have to do is write f puts. We pass it the stream we want to write to, which is going to be f which is our standard error. And then we put in the string we want to output, which is going to be to print. So now that we've done that, we want to get the body of the post request because when we send a message using Facebook, all the information about the message is stored in the body of the post request. So to get the body of the post request, we have to say post body is equal to file get contents php input stream and that is where the body from the post request will go so now we'll have the post body stored in the post body variable so we can read it and then what we're going to do is we're just going to print it out so we're going to say print line post body and we put a semicolon in there and we run this so if we run this server and we send a message you can see here is the message here. Here's all the information Facebook sends us in the post body. And you can see here is text and that is the text in the message. So we can access all this data by converting it into an array and then accessing all the members in the array. So we're gonna delete the post body and what we're gonna do is we're gonna convert it into an array. So we're gonna say post array equals JSON decode and we'll just pass the post body. This will convert it into an array. And in the array, there's a member called entry and there's only one entry. So we're always gonna put in entry zero and then we wanna put in messaging zero. That's because the, these two members will always be there in every message. So it just makes sense to uh, access that member automatically when we create the post array. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to reply to a message. So to send a message back to Facebook, we need to send a post request to Facebook's API. So to do that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna say file get contents to open the file. And what we're gonna do is we're going to just put in this URL, graph.facebook slash v2.6 slash me slash messages. And then we're gonna put in a question mark and say access token equals, and then this is where we put in our access token to access the API. So we click on select a page and we click on best bot ever and we copy this to the clipboard. This is our access token and we paste it in here. So now we'll be able to send authenticated requests to the Facebook API, but we won't be sending a post request. So to send a post request, we need to modify the file get contents function. So to do that, we need to add some more options. So we're gonna go up here and we're gonna say options equals an array, just like we did in the last video if you watched that one. So what we do is we create an array and the first option is HTTP because that is the protocol we're using. And then we say HTTP equals another array. And in this array, we say a method because we wanna change from the default get to post. Then we set the content, which is what we want to send back. So we'll just set that equal to an empty string for now. And then we set the headers. So we say header, and we're going to modify the content type header. So we're just going to paste in this content type is application slash JSON, and then make sure you put in the slash R and the slash new line at the end. So that's our options created. We just haven't put any content in yet. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go down here and we have to create a stream context. So we set context, equals stream context create and then to create that all we have to do is pass in the options we created earlier which is this array up here and then to get that to finally work all we have to do is go to our file get contents function and then after we paste in our string we want to say the word false to set that parameter to false and then we want to pass in our stream context which is just context and now we have to put some data in the content so the content has to be json so we have to say json encode because we're going to pass it an array so we're going to pass it an array after we put in the json encode to convert the array back to json and now what we want to do is we want to put in the recipients. We want to say recipient equals, and we pass another array. And then we say the recipient's ID is equal to whatever their ID is. So we're going to say sender ID to send the message back to the sender. Next, we're going to say the message, which is just going to be message, is equal to another array. And we pass text is going to be equal to, say, for example, hello world. So to get the sender ID, we're just going to go up here and we're going to say sender ID is equal to post array because that's the array that we got from Facebook and because we've already accessed the entry member and the messaging member all we have to do is type in sender 
ID, just like that. So the reason we're using this weird set of arrays to send back the text is because when we convert that back into JSON, what it look like is So this is what the JSON output will be. Obviously these will also be surrounded in double quotes. So let's try and run this now. And you can see what's happening is we're getting lots and lots and lots of messages sent back to us. So I'm just gonna stop the server and I'll explain why we're getting lots of messages back. The Facebook API, whenever we send a message, what it will do, Facebook will call our endpoint, which is our index page. And then our index page will send a message back to Facebook. Whenever Facebook receives another message from us, their API will automatically send us another notification. But our script is just automatically sending a message no matter what sort of information is sent to it. So we're just getting this infinite loop of messages being sent back. So to fix that, we need to be able to determine whether or not we were sent a message or whether or not we were sent a notification and the way we can fix that is we could surround all this in an if statement so we'll just surround all this in an if statement for now we'll not put in a condition yet and then up here what we'll do is we'll create some new variables we'll create one called has text and it's going to be equal to post array then we access the message member then we access the text member and this is how we get the text from the message then we're going to have another variable called is echo and it's going to be equal to post array message is echo so if a message has this special is echo member, that means it was sent by Facebook as a notification to us to tell us that a message was read or a message was delivered or something like that. So if it has a text member, it means that somebody sent a message to our bot. So to make sure we only send messages back when we receive a message and not when we receive a notification, we're just gonna say if has text is true and is echo is false. So we're just gonna put an exclamation mark before the is echo variable. And this means all this code will only run for messages that are sent. What we're gonna do down here is say else print line not a message. And while we're here, we're also gonna scroll up and at the minute we're only sending back hello world. So what we're gonna do is we're going to send back the messages text. So we're just gonna send back has text. And now we're gonna run this and we're probably gonna get a few extra messages in here because these messages weren't successfully delivered. So then Facebook is gonna queue them up and try and send them later. So this will just stop eventually. So that should be it. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna type in the letter A. We're gonna hit enter and we get the letter A printed out. Okay, so we're getting a slight error. And the reason for that is because at the minute we're trying to access the is echo member and it's not always there because it's only there for notifications. So we're gonna change this to is set. So this will test if a member is there and it'll just return true or false if it's there or not. And then has text will just change to is set as well. So this will return true or false. So our if statement will still work, but we're just going to copy this code and we just have to change how we're getting the text for the message from instead of saying has text, we'll just print out the post array message text. So now if we run this, we shouldn't have any errors. So if I send the letter B, we get the letter B printed back. And you can see we got the letter B printed back and then we got two not a message notifications. So these were two different types of notifications such as Facebook telling us the message was delivered. So we don't want to respond to that sort of notification. So we're just saying it's not a message. So that's it for this video. In the next video, we're going to be learning how to use natural language processing. So now we can get the value of the message that's sent and we can send it back to the user. So we're going to use that information to send more meaningful responses back to the user next time. But that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite and subscribe. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Reddit. But that's it for this video and I'll see you next time.